Oh, hello there. In this video, what I'm going to demonstrate is how we can accept numbers only. Yes, that's right. How we can accept only numbers from the user. Now, what this thing applies to, I will give you a, de a demonstration or a situation. For example, you have the telephone number field or the telephone number or the mobile or the phone field and you want users to accept only numbers. I mean you want users to enter only numbers you don't want user to enter name in the telephone field so how do we do that that's right I'm going to show you in a moment what we are going to do is that insert a new row here okay insert row right here we'll give this a title as phone and here I'm I have uh, in my form I've already written down the code here and I'm going to paste this one and I will going, I'm going to explain to you in a moment how this thing works. This is our phone text field and there is an event which says on key press. If, you, if you're working on Dreamweaver, right now I'm working on Dreamweaver 8. So if you say on key press, there are many events. There are, there's one event that's say on blur. Okay, if you just type on and hit control space, yes, control space. It will list all the events that are there. We have on mouse out, on mouse over, and you know what mouse over means. When the mouse is over a particular control, then a particular event will be fired. So, so these are the things you can just go through them. Okay, now we are talking about on key press event. Yes, and when the key is pressed, it returns a function. It's, it checks if it is a number or not. Okay, and for that we have a function right here. Okay, I'm going to paste this one right below the script ending. Okay, and I'm going to show you in a moment or right now what this function does. Now, have you heard of the ASCII code? If you don't know, I'm going to show you that as well right here. Okay, this is the ASCII characters. Okay. That stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Okay, yes, it's right here as well. Okay, it checks. You know, for letter A, there is proper ASCII code for 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 that. For letter B, there is a proper ASCII code for that. For letter, let's say for digit two, the ASCII code is 50. Okay, so this is how uh, programmers or uh, the uh, the guy who are the you know the geeks have. Uh, you know made the setup anyway we'll get back to our function here now it checks here if the character code this is by the way a variable okay it checks if it is if it if it is greater than 31 let's check where 31 is that is here if it is the separator or if it was a unit separator and it also checks if it was less than 48 not equal to 48 ASCII code less than 48 and where it is 48 48 as you can see is right here it checks if it is less than 0 okay if it is less than 0 okay and if it is greater or and if it is and it means or okay or greater than 57 where is 57 57 is right here okay that is 9 so basically it's checking if it is less than 48 and greater than 57 return false okay if it, if it is anything above 57 and below 48 return false which means 48 is associated with 0 49 is 1 blah 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 and then 57 is all the way to 9 if if it is anything above and below these digits or these ASCII codes simply return false so this is how it works okay you can just so you might want to go through the ASCII table right here it is available on the internet okay you can just hit uh, you know just write or just type ASCII table on on Google you will get all sorts of results 
and you can just uh, see which one uh, is uh, more uh, easy for you to read okay with that in mind we'll just save our table okay we have our function in place we have our text box in place and we are calling the on press uh, event okay we have everything in place now we are going to preview this thing here okay now I'm going to type let's say test name okay I will select gender and now here on the phone I can type let's say one two three but now I'm trying to type a b c d but it is not accepting well you cannot see but I am actually typing a b c or all the alphabets but it just wouldn't accept that it is returning false every time because it is not falling into the proper ASCII code so I'm trying to type all the alphabets that there are all the alphabets I mean on my keyboard but it is just not accepting right now so this is how we capture the phone from the user properly so just a quick recap we can have the on key press event and we can have the is number key you can actually have any name for the function okay and just place this one right above the script and you can have all these things you can you, you know you can you can just get the code from the net it's not that hard but this is how the real this is the real meat of the uh, function right here okay so that's how it works so that was the video for accepting only the numbers from the user I'm going to be making some more videos and releasing some more videos in the near future so do join me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave your comments down below and please rate this video thanks for watching and have yourself a good day